Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. What a fine day it is in the city. And I think some things have happened. The lots of things have happened. This city is booming and bustling. As you can see, there's a new building here in town. And this is so originally, and you guys, have, a lot of people have been mentioning this from the start, when Scar originally bought this land near the beginning of the season, he lost a piece of it, or Green bought a piece of the middle of all this land. And sure enough, Green has claimed it and put that tower in. Green also bought from Scar our big building here. So he's... It's his, you know, as I said, whenever somebody buys a piece of property, all the land, Etho, Impulse, Corrales, all the stuff that they bought, they can do whatever they want with it. Scar bought this tower. He can do whatever he wants with it. He sold it to Graham. He can do whatever he wants with it. And he replaced the billboard that we put up there with his own skin. And funny enough, he retained the old billboard and hung it on the side of this new building that he put in here. So there we are. And I think we may be taking that. Because. Why? Well, at least part of it. Because for some other reasons. There's lots. I mean, today, there's we're going to do a lot today. There's a lot on the agenda. So hang in there. We're going to be doing some over at the base. I got some really cool ideas. Uh, but we're going to start out here in a cute town. So Scar has finished the interior of his realty building. You know, the structure was in place before, but now the interior is done. And how cool is this? It's, 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 he did a good job. But, oh, what is this all about? There's a, <laughs> there's a sword through me. Hey. Oh, that's really cool. The map of the city. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I don't like that. <laughs> there's a tar. Oh, it's an arrow. Okay, I can see it now. And there's a target. Okay, okay, okay. Notice our diamond banners that we put here. They're fully covered up now. Uh, and you can't really see them. And it looks like this is Scar's head office up here. Yeah, where he'll be spending the majority of his time. So we'll have to put another something here, don't you think? And I could, you know, I could brag again and put diamonds. But I got another idea for that. Speaking of diamonds, not only do I have like 52 diamonds that we'll recollect there, 52 diamond blocks, I've got 42 now. How do I have 42 diamonds? Because I just played a fun game uh, of stat poker with some friends. Ooh. This is Crowd. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Corrales. How's it going? <laughs> you <laughs> can't. Hey. Hey. Okay. Is it, okay. It's the highest as well. And is it's it? Tango. Okay. I'm going to bet 12. Okay. I'm going to call and I'm going to raise it 24. Oh, you, oh, oh, you guys whoa. are crazy. What? I'm going to lose this, but I'm going to I'm going to call that. You're calling. Uh, I'm going to call. I'm calling. Where do you crouch? Everywhere. You sh sh you're trying. Them. You're trying to get more crouch points. Three. Hello. <laughs> Three hundred. I, I absolutely. <laughs> and twenty-two <laughs> kilometers. Twenty-two. Whoa. Oh, Come again. Three hundred and twenty-two kilometers. I, I can't compete with that. You can't. I mean, that is just. He's not taking the diamonds. No, I can't compete with that. I, I had a hundred and, and I had I thought that was ninety-eight. Much. How do you, where do you crouch that much, Efo? How much did you have? 123. I had the least amount. Let's we go. We had a 20. That just seems like so much. How are you crouching? So yeah, Etho, Tango, Corrales, and I, we all played a little bit. And I I won some really big pots. So I got... Beto got a lot of diamonds. I gotta say, I, I don't know how this has all happened, but... I'm very wealthy all of a sudden. Uh, so I'm loving it. I'm loving every bit of it. But we're going to collect these and we're just going to keep these, you know, for ourselves. Let's try not to fall all the way down. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get that other one. And then we'll put something else in here so Cigar can look at. He needs a nice view, you know, instead of, hey, there's a hole here. Hello? 
I <laughs> busted. Okay, ow! I did not get hurt. Loses five and a half hearts. All right, let's hop on up and take a quick look and see how we're doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, that's a perfect spot for my billboard. See, because if Scar comes up here and he's doing any business and uh, another customer is here, they're going to see, ooh, oh, right, name recognition, B-dubs. And plus, I can always keep a good eye on him right here with my big smiling, shining face. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. Okay, that's one wonderful thing that we're able to do here. Another thing, some, some other things. I've been working kind of off camera and there's so much going on in the city. I put these power lines in here just to add a little bit of interest. And I've set them up to where I could put chickens in and connect uh, the, the uh, lines, the leads, like I did over right over here. So these leads, woo. These leads right here are connected to chickens that are named in there and silenced, of course. They are not clucking about. So, these are set up for that, but uh, I think it looks cool. It's just one of those little things that you add into the city that makes things look very alive. But, more things have happened. Ren is kind of uh, taking over that spot up there. He's doing some great things in there. And... Uh, if you didn't catch his episode, I gave him a new haircut uh, at Snips, which is fantastic. Let's see. Wow! I sell much. I sell much, much. I can't. I really can't keep. Oh, my goodness. The TNT shop. Oh, boy. We got to check down here. I think I need to make a shutoff for this. Uh oh I need to make a shutoff. It's too full. It's too... F we're too full. Oh, goodness. You should shut off the system. I need... I'm going to make a shut off for that. But... Uh, and that'll be easy. That's just going to poke some lights up in the top with some pistons. It's sim simple. Simple. But, hey, we're doing great. We're selling. That's awesome. Uh, I don't need more diamonds. I'm full. But... Uh, uh, Suzuma's made a new building here. Oh, it's beautiful. Brick and Morty. It's full of bricks and good things. It looks awesome. And bricks are a very good thing to have. Pots, wonderful. He's not selling brick blocks because I think that's something uh, that you can get with villagers and some, you know, other stuff. But boy, he's adding little, little bits of interest right here. I love that. And he made another building over here that I think we saw last episode. But it's just really filling out the city. Aren't things coming along? And ooh, looks like Impulse is doing some stuff. Check out everybody's videos on this stuff to see what's going on with them. But I know False uh, and I, we, a couple days ago, worked out a little deal for this spot right here. Wait, can you fly with me? You have wings. You got rockets. Can yeah, you fly yeah, with yeah. me into the shopping district to your terracotta shop? If I could get, let's see, what's the price? One diamond per 32. Oh, for dead That's bushes. dead bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, These, yeah. It's one diamond a stack, basically. One diamond per stack. Okay. So... Would you be willing to offer me three stacks for two diamonds? A, a special B-dubs deal. Yeah, of course. I can do that. You can? In return for the plot. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll give you yeah. that if if I could come in and grab three stacks for two diamonds. Yeah, no, that that's a deal. Yeah, and I'll try and keep it stocked pretty, pretty well. Oh, look at this. We are selling wool. I need to restock my brown. <gasps> and cyan? No way. I need to restock my brown. I had no idea. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, that's going to make a mess. Okay, okay, okay. I can't This is this is a sign right here. This is a sign that a cute town is really popping, baby. That's so exciting. Oh wow, we're selling stuff in our shops out here. It took a while for people to realize, "Hey, we got good business going on in town." But they're realizing we're going to do some things, some little things to add some life to the city. There's just little things that were popping up to make it feel fun and exciting for people that come by and visit. And I want to add a little bit of a, you know how you'll be walking down the street and there will be a vendor. They'll have like a, a almost like a U-Haul big thing on wheels 
that uh, is on the side. They're selling hot dogs or whatever, or uh, you get something like that. And Scar and I, off camera from time to time, we'll just these pillagers will come by, and we'll trap them, totally trapped. I think, and he said I could use one of these. Now this guy, I believe, still has a bow. Let's hop up and check. Sure. He's number one. Uh-oh. Got a shriek. So we could use, you know, last episode we worked on all those villagers out in our town at our base. We've got tons of villagers over there. We could try to transport one all the way over here. But Scar and I worked so hard on getting these pillagers here that maybe we just try to trap one in one of these things. It's going to be a small little design, but it's going to be kind of unique. So I'm going to work on that. And I think I'm going to place it like right about here. Yeah, -ha, perfect. This is it. This is the spot uh, all in place. And it, I mean, it's small. It's really hard to make something so small that kind of fits the scale of the other buildings right in this area. But it works. And oh, man, I can feel it. I can sense it. Gotta sleep. OK, so this is the spot. But like I said, this is where I breathe heavy. Um, so. <laughs> We want, we got to have somebody in here. Somebody's got to, oh, breaky, breaky. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to have to trap somebody in here. And this will not be hard. Yes, it will. So I'm going to break everything that I just made. Wonderful. And I'm going to make a perfect spot for him. So it's going to go like that. And then I'm going to get him trapped. And then I'm going to, boom, put that block back in there this block back in there so because a villager you know we could lure him and he'd probably find his way right to this and uh they're actually the villagers are cool maybe i'll do i don't know we'll see over time but a villager the villager that with a smoker has a headband on so it looks like a sushi shop which would probably be good but for the minute let's just try this okay so Scar has told me how to tame these guys. There's a tamed one over there. And he has said, oh, this is going to be hard. Okay. He's told me how to tame them. So you have to put glass. Yeah. In just the right, and stand in just the right spot. Okay. No. Not interested. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. This feels right. Uh-huh. Okay. He aimed. Ouch! It hurts, though. Okay. What about if I put that there? Shoot. Ouch! It hurts. Okay. Do I have a slab? I do have slabs. Okay, let's try a slab. This is science. Ouch! Okay. He th Oh! Ow! Okay. Ow! Okay. Aha! I found the perfect spot. Yes, this is perfect. So now I just stand here for 5,000 hours and wait for him to shoot all the bow or all the arrows in his inventory and don't move. Hello, just eating a carrot snack in your face. And we'll just wait for all the arrows to be gone and then he'll be somewhat peaceful. I think he can still hit me. We'll wait and see. Well, I was hoping it really wouldn't come to this, but it looks like it has. I didn't want to have to move my spot because I found the perfect genius spot. And now, he's still not out of arrows? What has he got? Like 10 stacks of arrows? This is crazy. And I have to move now because X is on, but he's AFK. So I, I have to, I have to go Shriek. And then I'm going to lose my spot. Let's see if I can find it. We'll go to sleep. Uh, if, unless he runs out right now, before the sun goes down. Please run out now. Please run out. This is your last chance. Run out. This is your last chance. Run out now. Ah, okay. Oh, it won't let me sleep because there's monsters nearby. Oh, boy. Okay, 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 fine. All right. Gonna have to... Okay, let's see if we can find that. Okay, this is definitely... No, oh, not the spot. Okay. And Aha. Okay. Ooh, he did a jump shot. Okay. Okay, this is fine. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. All right, 10 more hours of, of him shooting thousands and thousands of arrows. No big deal. Aha! Uh -huh. I heard it break. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Oh, that's great. Okay, 
I just heard it break. That's fantastic. Okay. So, our goal now is to lead him from there over to here. Now, I think the best option will be to create a tunnel that he can't get through. A tunnel will be a, a, a nice way to go. So, I think I've got a ton of cobblestone here. Yeah, this will work. It'll be a tunnel. And I'll take this off real quick. Okay. And I don't have any room in my inventory. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine, that's fine. You know what? Let's put this right here for right now for safekeeping. That actually looks really cool right there. Okay, so boom, boom. You don't need to see this. <laughs> I'll make the tunnel and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's knock that out. Okay, I think we're fine there. I think we're going to have to knock that out. Okay, good thing we checked. Good. And then... I think if I knock this out, hold on. Okay. And then this. Okay. Now come get me. Wait. Hello? Oh, just like, just like nice, huh? Okay. Just like walking. Okay. Wait, I thought he would melee attack me. I'm going to put this back while we're, uh doing whatever this is come on number one come on he okay 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 i could take a boat or a minecart very good very good very good very good very good can't go further than that now can't go further than that keep going i'm gonna block him off as we go very good and boom okay keep going keep going that's the way you want to go now oh my goodness oh i had i had an opening in the tunnel okay move very good, and I'm going to do a trick to you. Watch this trick, okay? He thinks I can't push him, but sure enough, I can. From under here, Minecraft Pro move. That's right. Okay, it's really getting close to bedtime. Okay, in you go. Jump. Do a jump. Yes. <gasps> he wants to work here. Yes. 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 Boom. He works here. He can't get out. Yes, I sleep. Oh, this is fantastic. I didn't know it would be so easy. He really just went for it. Now, so, so, this guy over here. Hold on. I gotta, there's a couple other things that I gotta do. Like, I gotta put this. Okay. There's a couple. Oh, well, I'll fix those in a second. This guy, when you get close, what's he do? He puts his hands up. Wait. You don't do it anymore? They were putting their hands up when they saw you. Now they're just looking. Okay. I mean, I guess that's what it is. I did, I, guess, I thought they would do a little more than that. Okay. But this is awesome. Okay. And where's the other one? The other one's way over here. Now, today, the big important thing that I want to do uh, is get... I want to make a place to store... A beautiful place to store terracotta at my base. So, we've got... We have, I'm sorry, mm, wait, no, I'm doing this wrong. We have uh, some really nice, we, we've separated all of our stuff out into different buildings. Okay, I think that's right. I don't know if that's right or not. What's it on this side? Aha, aha, give me that, give me that. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so we've got different buildings to store all of our goods, and we're going to be coming into a lot of terracotta now because of this wonderful deal. Uh, so we blocked that off, and then we're looking for. Mm, let's block the top off. We're looking for the apple, or the the apple painting. Where is it? Come on. Aha! That's not an apple. I don't know what that is. Let's say it's sushi. Wonderful. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna head on over to our base. This is awesome, though. Let's feel this out. I mean, we got cobblestone. We got to clean up and stuff like that. But pretty cool. Do they wear armor? Put that on. Wear that? He's not gonna wear it. Okay, I'll I'll keep that. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so anyway, this is our little worker here in our whatever shop. You know, hot dog stand, sushi shop, whatever it is. Pretty cool. We may bring a headband villager over. Maybe. I don't know. But for the moment, I think that's really cool. It's just one of those things. And maybe if we find some other spots in town, I don't want to have them crammed too close together. But some other spots in town, maybe we can pop some more. 
So maybe like here would be a good spot or down a different road where it feels like it needs a little more life or something could be great. But I think that's awesome. I like that. Okay. Now, I mean, there's so much we can do. There's so much all over town that we can do. Uh, and so much that I've done in the last couple of weeks. But for now, that's going to do it. That's going to cover it for this area in Aku Town. We may come back a little bit later. But for right now, let's head back to our base. Let's make a beautiful terracotta place. Ah, oh, it's good to be back at the base. There's our Mason. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's loaded. Is everybody still alive? So I've been back. And I've been collecting resources. All these shulker box full of the goodies. And a couple of nights passed. And of course, I, I did my thing. I was very diligent about going to sleep. People have been wandering, though. I believe, and this is exactly what I want. I want the villagers to really wander. And some people were saying, you know, name tag them and stuff. Listen, these guys are disposable. If they don't survive, that's it. End of story. There's a guy that lives in here. There he is. <laughs> Look at the greenhouse man. He doesn't know how to get outside. And that's fine. There's a lot of stuff uh, with the builds here that, uh, see, I can get out, stupid. Uh, there's a lot of stuff with these builds that, that they don't, you, trap doors, villagers haven't really figured that out yet. Mojang, you could fix that if you want, though. That's a good idea. Uh, but maybe not a good idea because I have used a trap door right here. To make sure they can't go through there into the portal and stuff. So, anyway, one thing we have to address before we get started on this terracotta thing. Because we're going to have some major terracotta uh, flowing into our system very soon. Into our hands. Last episode, I was messing around with villagers. And our mending guy is... Our mending guy is around here somewhere. I saw him recently. Uh, we'll see him throughout the day, I'm sure. But... When I was messing with him, I, I broke this barrel and I picked it up and put it down and had I totally missed until I was editing. Aha. Uh -huh. The buzzing in my base. Oh, Etho, hello. Hi, Etho. I know about this. And I'll break that. And this bee is glitched. He's full glitched. Huh? He seems totally glitched. He's not even mad. Shouldn't he be upset about what I just did? I guess he's fine. <laughs> what a silly goose. Hey, here. There, it's back. You can enjoy that and give me some honey. But anyway, so we found another one. There's others all over the place. They're, it's so hard to find them. But every, <laughs> that one I found by accident. But anyway, location-wise, I'm thinking we like to spread everything out. And everything that I do here in this area, I'm always thinking about how do, how is it going to look? Composition is the, is the technical term. But how is it going to look from certain angles? Uh, what we're putting and, and what's the view going to be when you're you know walking to that place? So... I'm going to go to sheep real quick. Oh my goodness, I let it get dark. That was a big, that was silly. I got really into my conversation there and I let it get awfully dark. Like dark enough for zombies to spawn. As I said, I'm not too worried about it. If zombies, you know, chase some guys off, so be it. But I'm, is everybody okay? Just double checking? Seems like everybody's fine. That wasn't too bad. So I, I like to think about where I'm going to put it. And with this build, I want to help. I want to try to explain my thought process a little more. Because usually it's it's kind of tough to explain. But I think I have a good way to explain this one. So hopefully we can walk through this one together a little bit at least. So I'm thinking location-wise here. Because we, we want to kind of balance out. We've got the flower shop way over there. We've got some builds there and way over there. I'd like to stretch it this way. And this, of course, then will be the road right here that connects up to that path that we made last episode that goes up the mountain. So we'll have some good traffic going through here, and I think this is the perfect spot for it. So I'm going to lay out some shapes, and then we're going to build them up. So this will be the basic shape. It's not going to be huge, but it's just squares and rectangles. That's, that's how I think of builds when I kind of lay them out. So... 
Here is a five by, this is like 11. So this just comes, this will come straight through here. And this is kind of how I think of the roofs too. When I'm laying out the base, I think about the roof and how the roof is going to lay out. And then there will be a section. This is five, one, two, three, four, five. This was an accident. And then this will come straight across here. Okay. So these roofs, it'll basically be, you know how to do a roof for a five by whatever, right? So that's simple. And then that leaves us with this area here where we'll do kind of a hip roof. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But that's basically the shape. And then just for some interest, we added like a little seven by three thing out on the side here. So that's the basic shape. Now for what I want to do with the, it's going to be two stories and then some other fun stuff up on top. But for the first story, it's terracotta. So I don't want to do the whole thing out of terracotta. I want to do like a mix of brick and terracotta i think that'll look really good it'll be terracotta but then like with some bricks mixed it mixed in to make it look structural and architecturally there's one there's a couple of interesting things that i want to do on this floor i want to have arches like an arch here and an arch here to enter and then an arch on this side because i think we have if i laid this out right we have boom and boom three a space of three and then one two three Space of three, and then to get to here, one, two, three. So that leaves us some good room for some arches. So I'll get to work on this first story. Not super detailed or anything, but I'll get the floor built up so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And boom, mission accomplished. So we got the first floor laid out with those arches in place and then kind of temping in some windows. I think it's pretty easy to know, to you know decide. Okay, it's five. I could either have one window in the middle, or one on either side. You know, you got some window options, so you just kind of decide. Pop some windows in there. But basically, we'll walk through it because now you start to get an idea of what the interior will feel like. This is the best time to start planning out the interior. So here, I've got kind of a weird window. This is going to be like um, a one and a half window, but I think that'll be cool. Just a little different thing, you know. And then uh, maybe we'll have like a wall here to separate this room from this room. And this will mainly all be storage. It's all going to be tons and tons of storage to store terracotta stuff. And then I'm thinking this would be a good space for a stairway. And then maybe a wall coming across here to separate this room, potentially. So if the wall comes across like this, look, you have this room right here for stairs, which I think could be good. But anyway, that's the first floor. Very simple. You just kind of lay out a shape, decide some architectural things that you want to add into it, pick your materials, and boom, just go. It takes time, you know, to get used to it and, and get good at it, but uh, I think that's going to be a good start. So, and, and the other thing is, it looks like garbage until you really detail it. So just trust what you got. Get some shapes in and trust them. Stage two, we're going to go on the top and we're going to go with... Smooth sandstone. I think smooth sandstone is going to be fantastic. And we're going to do this deal. You guys know the, the, the deal, right? When we're going, it, this is a, what is this? Tudor style. That's right. We're going to go like this. I think it looks fantastic. You know, over here, we kind of did Tudor style with concrete, white concrete and diorite. You can use mushroom blocks. Here's Tudor style with yellow. You can use all sorts. Tudor with brick. Everything. Here we're going to go sandstone. We haven't really used that very much out here. So I think that's going to look fantastic. And it's going to look really good compared to this. It adds a good contrast value. This is a very saturated. This is low saturation. So that'll be here. R a couple things. Right above here, we're going to have this roof. There's going to be a story. And then there's going to be a peaked roof up here. And then there will be... A hip roof here, which we'll, we'll deal with later. But then here is going to be up and a peaked roof again. And those will go this way and they'll intersect. <laughs> oh, I hope this is making sense. They'll intersect like right about here. So uh, what we're going to do on those peaks, instead of repeating these two windows here, I want to have like circle windows. I think that's going to make this build look really cool. I think it's going to make it stand out from all the other builds here. And 
It's a little bit of a fantasy element. Circle, big circle windows. It's got a fantasy feel. It makes you feel like you're in a magic land. And we're doing that a little bit with this. With this spirally tree. So I think if we're over here at our base and we're seeing the spirally tree and we're seeing this these big circle windows here, I think it's going to be a good combo. So I'm going to get laying that out. Uh, I think... Hmm... We, I might not, let me, let me, let me clarify this before we go to, we have a couple decisions to make here where we're going to have a building coming straight across here and the roof is going to come out this way. Building going straight across here. I might not put floors here or I might indent it a little bit just to add a little bit of difference. We'll see, but I'm thinking here will make some kind of difference. We might shrink this in by one. We'll see. But anyway, I'll get going on that. And just like that, the top floor is done. Not so bad. So a couple things. As I'm going along, whenever there's windows that are straight up and down, I put a little cut piece. Just to add something interesting there. And then every once in a while, put some regular sandstone in. But there you kind of start to see the circle windows. And I'm pretty confident these are going to work out. They look a little strange like that because we really haven't put the peak on this roof yet. It'll give some, you know, stuff above it. But something very nice, a nice little thing that I do when I'm doing windows. Let's go on up. Right up here. And when you got something this shape. And it depends on the shape. But for this shape, it should work out fine. And of course, I'll probably reorient that so it's facing the right way. But that helps round out the circle a little more. So if you look at it from a distance, it looks more like a circle and less like a diamond. You can already see it kind of showing up like a circle there. The putting a top on it really helps. But yeah, that's it. I mean, it, look at this. It doesn't look exciting. It doesn't look fun. When a build hits the level, the detail level, that's when it really, really takes off. Uh, this will be where the stairs are, but let's go on upstairs. Uh, so I was laying out the floor. I'm thinking I'll put, I'm going to put um, a fireplace down below that goes all the way through the top. Uh, but here we go again with boom, boom, boom. Easy, right? This just adds a little bit of thickness on the sides to make it a little more uh, roundish, which I like. It's nice. Boom. Uh, so I'm thinking we'll have a wall right here. Wall right here. And then this could go into like a bedroom. There'll be a fireplace here, fireplace here, and this will connect down to the uh, furnace below. Although we may move this in one. This is looking, it's mere scars here. We may look, I think we're going to be there. I think that's it. That'll be kind of tight, but I think that'll be good. And look at the view we'll get from there as well. I think that's going to be awesome. So next thing, these everything's looking nice. I'm thinking I'll put a little deck out here, potentially, and maybe something that I'm thinking maybe a wraparound deck because we're going to be using this path quite a bit. And if there's a little deck that overhung the path, that would be a nice feel. So anyway, next is the big one. This is the big one that everybody has a hard time with, and I get it. I had a hard time with it as well. I used to be a general contractor, so I've been on top of a lot of roofs. And I'll tell you more in a second after I shriek. So I've been on a lot of roofs. I've seen a lot of roof shapes, and that definitely has helped me with figuring out roofs and stuff. But once you kind of get the idea, it's simple. So like I said before, we're going to have, and I'll try to get up here to hopefully explain it a little better. Okay, I'm up here. I think this is going to help, actually. So we, 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 the way we laid this out from the bottom, we were already thinking about this. So we're going to have a peak here. It's going to be a little steeper than that, but we're going to have a peak here. And that top block is going to go straight across and connect with that one. So this rectangle is all the same, and it's going to get the same roof on top all the way across. This one going to be a little taller peak as well, is the same rectangle as this one. So this top will connect to this. So all these blocks will connect to each other. And then when they intersect, you know, you just work out, you know, because they're going to touch each other and there's going to be a little bit of weirdness, but you just work it out. This here, I'm going to do a hip roof. And a hip roof is like this. So there's no peak. 
But I think the way this will this will work out best if there's a hip because then it'll prevent any weird areas where water would get trapped. Imaginary water, you know. But a hip roof that will connect and go in. And it's the same thing. You just think about the top line and connecting them. So in all of these are considered, you know, top lines. And you just bring this into that. When it intersects, stop. Take this one into that. When it intersects, stop. And this way as well. So that's the idea. Probably a little different pitch. You know, this is just, I just laid these out just for simplicity's sake. But that's kind of the game plan. Now, I think when this roof intersects with these, we're going to have some cool stuff happening uh, where I think I could maybe put some towers in. Small little towers. Again, another architectural detail. So we got arch arches for a cool detail on the bottom. Circle windows for cool detail on he on the next floor. And then for the roof, we'll put some little towers and, of course, a cool chimney. So I'm going to get working on that. And uh, hopefully it turns out very nice. Okay, roof is done. And I forgot to talk about a very important part with the color. If you, We went with the warped wood. I love the warped wood. I think it looks fantastic. Over here, we've got it's cyan concrete and cyan wool, I believe. Uh, I wanted to go a little darker, but I think the main reason why I picked that color is because I think it goes really well with terracotta and brick, those colors. They, they kind of work really well together. So I think it looks great. And I also put like a dark oak trim on it. But that's as far as I went with the detail. We haven't put any detail into it. And this is the big part. Okay, well, you can see kind of those towers up there as well that I had talked about. Those those look kind of cool. I like that little tower right there, little tower right there. We'll detail out the top of the roofs and some other things to help it look nice. But I'm showing you all these stages so you can kind of get a feel. This build does not compare to any of the other builds around here. So what's the difference? Why does this one and this one look so much better than this one? Aha! You in the comment section, you are correct. Detail. So there's no detail in this yet. Nothing. All I've done is just place the blocks. And, and a lot of times, that's how far it gets, right? I, I was at this stage where, you know, you get all the blocks down and then it's like, okay, why does it still look bad? So, detail. My advice for detail... Set aside a lot of time. <laughs> uh, once this build is at this point, where we've got it right now, where we feel like, okay, this is good. I kind of put started to put a little roof there for that. Uh, we feel like, okay, this is good. This is a decent shape. Uh, then, then you have to really stop. I got to clear these trees out of here. You got to really stop and start thinking about how I'm going to detail it out. And so when I detail, I go in and I just pick an area right here. So how am I going to detail this? Well, I know that I'm going to put some furnaces. So I want a little smeltery thing right here. Probably a little water thing to cool things off. Some storage, some barrels. Maybe on the outside, we're going to detail, of course, with some flowers and, and bushes and stuff like that. And then take this wall for example how can i detail this out well maybe i can put a little bit of a lip right there maybe i can put a little lip right there and add some fences and some gates you just pick a spot and you focus on that spot and then stand back and look at it it's a very slow all of these things each of these levels took me about five to ten minutes so in total i'm like a half hour on this thing but when it comes to the detail, this will probably take two to three hours to get done because it's a lot of placing things down. And as you find things that work, you just know, like, that's going to be good. Like up top, we know that I can put a wall, a fence, maybe two fences and an iron bar. And it's going to help give some detail on that. There's certain things that we know. If I put little fence gates, Underneath there, that's going to be a cool detail. So you learn some things along the way that just makes it a lot easier. But yeah, that's kind of the process. So now it's a matter of working out all the details. So I'll see you in a long, long time. Oh my goodness, I love it. Isn't this baby a beauty?
Oh, hours. It was hours, but hey, it's worth it at the end of the day. Yeah, so I, I also, I went ahead during the detail process and did the interior, which is, you know, another long thing, but it wasn't so bad. I, I would say maybe I had an hour on the outside. Some of this was pre-planned, of course, so it makes it a little bit easier. And then probably another hour or so on the inside. But anyway, whew, it's a beauty. I love it. So, I mean, from all angles, it just looks really cool. The, my favorite thing, the arches I thought were going to be kind of cool, but they don't really stand out too much. Just looks like openings. I kind of covered them with that awning. The circle windows. I love that. I didn't really anticipate that being my favorite part, but surely it is. Doesn't it look cool? So what sort of details did we do? Just stuff all over the place. Put some boarded, you know, boarded up the, the roof a little bit. And then, uh, you know, oh, you note blocks. I use note blocks because I kind of use that on this build a little bit. And I think that's nice. Also, I'm going to probably put some more trees around. Still haven't got this path here. And that'll that'll really make this feel nice once we get this path going up here. And maybe a couple of because we've just been peppering some pine trees or some spruce trees. So maybe a couple of those behind as well would look really nice. But I think it's fantastic. I love it. It's definitely it's done. Done done. Can't do anything else to it. But uh like this tree right here, this kind of brings it in, makes it feel like it's all part of the area, not just like something standing out weird. Vines on the outside growing up, and then just some random uh bushes and stuff, make some bushes and then uh, a little flower bed there. And then here's that overhang that we are talking about. So when we go up, we'll have that above us. And it'd be kind of cool. I like that. So and then some things hanging. Some plants hanging, and then a little furnace area and a little thing there. You guys see a little place they stand. I love it. It's so cool. And then here's the inside. So all of my terracotta, and this, I don't know. I just like to store things this way. All of my terracotta has been just crammed in a shulker box, but that's two steps. There's more steps than I want to do. So now... I can just put it all here. I'll, I'll label it, of course, and know this is regular. This is green and stuff like that. So that's going to be fantastic. And terracotta also, believe it or not, has glazed variants. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we can put the glazed over here. Yeah? I feel like that'll work. In this room will be the glazed room and maybe a couple right there. Uh, but I think it's cool. Unfortunately, we see the backside of the furnace thing a little bit, but that's okay. And we go upstairs, and then this is like a little bit of a kitchen place. This small galley style kitchen. And there's that window we love with that beautiful view. I love it. And then boom, you get to see the tree out there. Not the best view in the world. It's a little sitting area for reading. Oh, and what a view of the castle you get as well. Kind of. I think I'm going to chop that tree down, believe it or not. Just for the view. Because that's really nice. And then a bedroom. A little bedroom with a fireplace inside. I think it's cute. I love it. But anyway, oh, and then this is that uh, deck. A little wraparound deck that we... Uh-oh! Time to shriek! But yeah, here we are on the wraparound deck. And I could decorate this out a little bit. I haven't done that yet. I should probably put some stuff uh, up on the deck. So I guess it's not fully done. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it. But I think it's fantastic. Another thing that we did, I put shutters on it. Shutters are a great way to add some detail. Put some fences in to kind of add some interest. Uh, but the shutters, I brought in the roof color down. So it kind of ties it all together. And then even that brown up there kind of pulls this up there. So it all kind of makes it feel a little more unified. And some spikes on top and a cool looking chimney. I think it's a beauty. Oh, man, I don't know. I think this might be one of my favorite builds in the area so far. We've built a lot over here. But that one is really cool. I think I, I mean, this has been my favorite for a long time. But believe it or not, we built this, this main starter house a year ago. So... We've kind of 
you know, hopefully gotten better. I think that looks much better. Ooh, I love it. That's a beauty. Okay, so, hello, Cash. I'll come back. We need to do a lot in this castle. There's so much that needs to be done still. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's taking forever to get this thing. There's so many other projects that I'm loving doing. There's a cake that Joe left me. Still can't eat it. Our diamond or our diorite thrown here. Still have to build these walls up. And I mean, you don't even understand. Maybe you do. You probably do understand. This needs a room. That needs a room. That needs a room. Hello, skeleton. Oh, I don't have my bow on me. I mean, we need rooms all over the place, and we need rooms below. There's going to be just so many rooms that we got to build in this thing. But I think the next thing we will do... Oh, I skipped out on trap doors here. Oh, that's a, okay. I'll fix that. Don't, don't. Just ignore that that ever happened. I think we'll work on this side and that side, maybe in the next episode. That could be really nice. But man, I'm loving this. Actually, you know what? Let's go. You're not supposed to be able to spawn. You're not supposed to. Oh, imagine if a creeper fell in here. What a nightmare that would be. Let's go down through here and take our little path down. Oh, I love this path. Let's take a little path down and see the if we can see that building we made from up here. At the lookout point that we made last episode. Sure enough, you can. With that circle. So we'll get that gross tree out of there and you'll see it even better. I think that's going to be fantastic. But I mean, this is our base. It's a it's sprawling base. It's all over the place, but it's just better and better every time we add something. I'm loving it so much. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm sure there's thousands of things that I forgot. I did so much recording. The Hermits, we got together on Monday and we did a bunch of stuff and helped Ren in a live stream. Uh, it, it, I mean, there's, there's been so much we've been doing, so much I've been doing on the side that, uh, it's hard to keep track of everything, but I hope you guys are watching the other hermits as well to kind of, uh, keep track of all this stuff. But boy, I love this base. Ooh, it's a beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My hair's kind of fading a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed. It's fading. I might have to do a new dye soon. I love you guys to death, and we'll see you all in the next episode.